Hello everyone and uh, happy Christmas to you. I hope you're having a nice day. I hope all of you who are fortunate enough to have families to spend time with are able to do so. And I hope that we'll also think of those that are on their own, maybe neighbours that you're aware of, friends, other family members who are on their own, maybe pick up the phone, give them a wee bell and just talk to them or chat the door and visit them because at this time of year I think it focuses on mind doesn't it? It focuses on mind on the importance of friendship, the importance of family. If like me you're not religious, um, you're not a Christian and yet we celebrate Christmas, what does the nativity story really tell us? What is it really all about? It's about refugees isn't it? It's about people who are homeless looking for somewhere to stay a roof over their heads. Maybe that's the type of message that gets lost in the hustle and bustle of the commercialization of Christmas. It's all about presents and how many you've got and what's the biggest present. And maybe we lose focus on that central story, which is actually about doing unto others what we would have done unto ourselves. Maybe it's time that we all paused and thought are we doing enough to make our own communities nice places to live, friendly places to live, welcoming places to live? And especially at this time of year when we think of refugees, not just from Syria, but from Syria in particular. I hope we're not hypocritical in celebrating Christmas on the one hand, but then being clearly racist and unchristian on the other by saying, oh, we don't want these refugees coming here. Interesting enough, here in Scotland, we've got a patron saint. Not all of you will be aware of this, but our patron saint is called Andrew. St Andrew, that's why we celebrate St Andrew's Day. And you won't all be aware that Andrew was actually a Syrian refugee. Um, maybe we should bear that in mind when we think about Scotland and we think about Christmas and we think about opening our hearts and opening our homes and opening our communities to those who are seeking refuge. Brothers and sisters, I hope you're having a, a great day. I do hope that you are with your families, you're with your friends, and you're surrounded by the warmth and the love that we all rely on. But I do also think that this time of year is when we think of those who are less fortunate than us, those that don't have the friends and the family network, those who don't maybe have the ability to pay for the type of Christmas that they would like to for their children. It's often seen as a time of rest. Think about the health workers that don't get any rest this time of the year. Think about the emergency workers that don't get any rest this time of year. Think about the low paid shop staff who not only don't get any rest at this time of year but probably get a busier time now than any other time of the year. In other words, Brothers and sisters, I would ask you, as part of my Christmas Day message to you as the co-convener of solidarity, I would ask you to think about increasing the solidarity in all our lives, treating one another as we would like to be treated ourselves, showing a bit of respect for each other and being prepared to take sides, being prepared to stand up for the powerless against the powerful to stand up for those who are being abused, those who have been denigrated, those who quite frankly deserve our support, not our indignation. We are about to end 2015 and start a new year. Let's start that year with hope in our hearts of a new and a better Scotland. Yes, we lost the referendum in 2014. We know that. But we win the arguments and we're winning the war. As we approach a new year, let 2016 be the year where the question of a new referendum is put in all the manifestos of the parties that are standing in the May elections. Let's get it in the manifestos. Let's get enough support for all of the pro-independence, anti-austerity parties that we can get a new referendum by 2018. And you know, my other message as we approach this new year 
particularly to the SNP government, is please remember your anti-austerity mandate. You know, being cut by the Tories is bad, but it's no any more painful than being cut by an SNP government. Thousands of local government jobs and services are on the line. Why? Because the Tories in Westminster want to pass on the cuts up here in Scotland despite having no mandate for those cuts. Please, SNP government, please the 36 local authorities across Scotland, show a bit of spinal column. Stand up for the poor. Stand up for those that need these essential services and say loud and clear, it's time for defiance, not compliance with these austerity cuts. It's better to set no cuts budgets that break the law than to break the poor. Come on, show a bit of guts and courage. Say no to these Tory cuts. Thanks for watching this wee short message. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful festive period. And I hope that you think of others in less fortunate positions than yourself. And we all try and build a, a better, more friendly, more inclusive Scotland that puts people before profits, that puts burns before bombs. Thanks a lot.